an ESP32 board for just 16 euros and you can buy it without having to fight scalpers as you have to for the big P4 kit. That sounds like a deal. And I took up Olimex on the deal and here is what I got. When you want to buy the thing, you go here to the Olimex website. This is the string you look for. And here you see it's 16 euros plus whatever tax and shipping. And what is interesting, of course, here you've got the Kaikade source files and the schematic as a PDF. And what's really neat is you should also go down there and look for some accessories because if you remember the ESP32 P4 development kit, the official one, comes with a camera and it comes with a display. And you see here that they also offer similar products here. And of course the cables and everything, you can buy it here. And even if you sum all of this up, it's still cheaper and especially cheaper than the current incredibly high prices for the official development kit, which the scalpers have just driven all the way to China and back. Sadly, I was kind of dim and I only ordered the main PCB. And then I got one of these flyers here, as you see here. What's important is they ship from Bulgaria. So in some cases there can be customs trouble. And be that as it may, we're going to cut inside here. And we find inside a second folder here, which again has my address and everything. Held here closed with two tags so you can recycle it. Let's cut it open again. And in here we find one of the classic Olimex boxes which everybody who did serious work with embedded systems in the past should know right away. And we open this as well. We still see their classic strengths. You see MSP430. This is just the architecture we've built them. And now we go inside here. And here we've already got our little ESP32 PCB. And I think it looks pretty damn beautiful. Let's start out by looking at the top of the board which is much smaller than the official Espressive developers kit. Here of course we've got our Ethernet port. Here we've got the GPIOs exposed. And what's interesting are these two MIPI connectors for a camera and a display which we mentioned before. And these holes are of course breadboard compatible so you can solder in a header and then you can just directly connect to GPIO, which is pretty much comfortable. And then here we've got the USB connection for connecting to IDF. And when we turn the thing around, we see here the actual main processor core. And this here is a slot for a micro SD card. So if you need more memory, you can also put it in on this little version of the board here. Here we have it up close again. You see these two buttons, the boot and the reset button, in case you need to interact with the software. Here we've got one of these more or less Olimex proprietary connectors. And this here is an extension for a power over ethernet feature. And also we do a quick comparison. Here we've got the P4, which I mentioned before and reviewed before. And over here we have the small one from Olimex. 
And as you see on the P4, first of all, the display connector should be able to mate with one another if you make sure that these power connections are somehow mirrored over there. But what is interesting here is that you see we've got this 40 pin Raspberry Pi like header, whereas here we can simply solder in anything and connect it directly to a PCB. So especially if you're experimenting with high speed signals, maybe this board is easier to use. But of course, on the other hand, here we've got much more USB connections and blah, blah, blah. And also what is pretty unique on the larger board is we've got here this thing, which as I mentioned is a wireless module. So this thing can also perform wireless networking, while this one is of course limited to using the ethernet. And this I believe is also an important difference. This thing is probably better suited for prototyping things where the focus is on the power of the P4 core, whereas this one is just better suited for communicative applications. Even so, I'm not gonna be an armchair general today. I do still want to make a quick summary. From my point of view, this is a very, very well done kit. And if you're looking for a cheap way to quickly get started with the ASP32 P4 platform and you don't need wireless radio, this is the thing to use, especially because it's much smaller and it's much easier to integrate it into printed circuit boards so that you can interact with large amounts of data. And yes, Olimex is a hundred percent serious honorable supplier, they are as robust as it gets and I can really, you can't say anything bad about them. So, in short, test was that, see you soon, thank you.